Good evening, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist Orlando, and today we're going to make an a airplane. Uh, this is actually like a jet fighter, nothing like the ones that I made previously. This is a simple one everybody can do. I'm going to make two videos, and they're going to be spliced together. Uh, this one is with me facing you, and the other one will be with uh, just my hands in the video. So we're going to start out. I got uh, pale blue and black. 260s, one of each is what I'm using for this design. Uh, we're going to start out by blowing our black one all the way up, chirp it a little so you can make it a little softer. Then we're just going to tie it on to the end just like you would do like with any butterfly wings or, or uh, the four petal flower and then you're just going to split it in two. And that's all there is to your wings. Um, next, we're going to take our um, pale blue 260, uh, blow it up, do about five fingers off the end or so. That's fine. Uh, you can make it a little less because you're going to end up breaking it off. Um, so, we're going to start out, we're going to do uh, about a hand size bubble, followed by an ear twist. Followed by an ear twist. And then straighten it through. Then you're going to go about an open hand. Go there, ear twist. You should have what looks like an L. You could make this into like a bicycle or something if you really felt like it. Um, and you want to go about a hand size bubble, twist, put a gear twist, then go about a hand size bubble, twist it, and then you want to break this piece off, tie it because you want to keep it, then you're going to tie this one. tie this one onto where you just broke it off of so it goes the other direction make a hand size bubble and then break it off okay you could change the color of that top part if you wanted but as you can see it looks like uh, like a scooter at the moment you could add wheels on it and have it like a scooter or you could turn it into like a uh, car or a, a race car or something but that's not what I'm using it for I'm using it for an airplane so now we're gonna take our black 260 we're gonna sh shove it down in here and wrap it under and we're gonna bring it up to the front tube get here, you're going to want to reach through, and you want to pull it through the other one. That'll lock that front set together. Then you got to position it. Your, your rear ear twist should be straight up and down so that the black one sits across. And on the front, you're going to move your ear twist. They are like the same way, one up, one down, going lengthwise along your aircraft, then position the front bubble so it sets semi straight. It's kind of a little hard to do if you make your bubbles a little too big, so you can, you can always leave them sideways if you feel like it. Just to keep your nose straight, you could leave it sideways. Um, the next part is really simple, just decide where where your bend is for your wings. And voila. Quick, simple jet fighter. Okay, kids love it. Now, I am going to make another video that follows this one, but it's just my hands. Okay, this is the second video and this time the camera is positioned over my shoulder and we're going to use a pale blue 260 and a black 260 and we're making a fighter airplane thing with it and we're going to start out with our black 260 
and we're gonna blow it up to almost to the end. Um, if you blow it up all the way to the end, chirp your balloon to let out some of the air, and then we're gonna tie it like we would do a, a four petal flower, and we're gonna just pull it and then spin it, and that's our first balloon right there. As you can see, I have two equal sections just like we would do to the flower. Now I'm gonna take my pale blue, and we're gonna blow it up to about five off the end. Uh, just enough off the end, you could chirp it down a little, make it a little softer because you really, really want to keep some of that end for this balloon. Um, not a big thing if you don't. Okay, then I take a hand length bubble. I'm going to put an ear twist right here. Then we're going to put an ear twist right here. And just Turn it so it straightens out. So now you have your hand length bubble, ear twist, ear twist. Then we're gonna go open palm. We're gonna twist a bubble. Then we're gonna go ear twist. Oh, I'm too high. Okay, then we're gonna go uh, hand length bubble after we've done our ear twist. And then we're gonna follow it with an ear twist. Then we're gonna do a hand length bubble. And we're gonna break it off. By breaking it off, we insert our fingers and we just pull it apart. Now we're letting out some of the air, but we wanna keep this, so we're gonna tie it off. Okay. Then we wanna tie this one off. That's why we broke it the way we did, was to leave enough of the, the extra balloon to tie it, okay. And we're gonna take this bubble and we're gonna just tie it around our ear twist here. Then we're gonna do a hammock bubble. And we're just gonna clip the end. By clipping the end, we're basically we're squeezing it down to where there's just enough to grab a hold of it, and then you just rip the end out of it. Works good if you got uh, fingernails um, for clipping the end. Uh, if not, just holding on to it firmly with, between your fingers should work just fine. Um, but again, that takes a little bit of practice. So now you should have what looks like a tricycle or, or a scooter. You can put your foot on it or whatever you want. But that's not what we're making today. Okay, now after repositioning and everything, you have lined it up. We're going to take our balloon, we're going to insert it right here between the, the back. So basically all you do is you lean it back, take your bubble, and shove it in there. And then once you get it through, basically all you're doing is you just rotate it over. Then we're going to put it through the front. So basically you want to do just like I did the back, just lean it forward and shove it in. Okay. Now once you get there, we're just going to reach through the balloon and then draw it through. And as I can say, you guys are behind me, so I can't see exactly what I'm doing, but we're, now we're going to position our bubbles. This one should be straight up and down with your design. And this one here, uh, you can either have them side, sideways or straight up and down depending on how big they are. Um, that will make a difference if you can turn them this way or have to go sideways. Now we're going to hold our design in our hands and just by looking at it, we're going to figure out about where our uh, wings are going to clip. So now we're going to do what is called a pinch twist where you actually pull it down and pinch it with your fingers. That's simple like that. And since we already crypt it, we have an idea of where we're doing these. So that holds your design for a nice straight wing effect. And that is our jet fighter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great one.